Ted Horan, and this is Herbert and Gerbert, Subs and Clubs, and we're slated to open October 8th, coming up. Uh, this is our fourth location in Fargo-Moorhead. You know, in the restaurant business, obviously margins are pretty thin, so we have to do a lot to, to make sure that we're profitable. So that's one angle, and the other part about it is being a good steward of the community. And for us, we take, you know, especially today, we take energy efficiency really seriously, so we're always trying to find ways to be, to be more efficient, whether it's the way we light our space and the type of equipment we use to new innovative things like um, on-demand water heaters, which I'm excited about. Uh, since we just installed and it's cool. Um, so it's important for us to, to be mindful of, of that and, um, and to have an a, a energy conservation program in place so that our employees are, are mindful of it as well. You know, what equipment stays on, what equipment is shut down, um, what time is it shut off, do we really have to leave the oven on all day? Those are things that we, we talk about. We're not great at it. It's constantly, we're constantly evolving, but it's it's something we're focused on. Sure. Yeah, watch your step. It is tiny, it's awesome. Yeah. Smalley and Stacy putting away our, all of our nice new things. This is our kitchen. And this, when, when they installed this, I, was, I, I kept waiting for more parts. Because if you were in, in our other restaurants, you would see these giant drums, right? You know, and, you're, and we, we don't use a lot of water in our, in our concept. So I kept saying there's got to be a better way. And so our mechanical guy suggested this, and here it is. It's so cool. Look at it. It's just this tiny little piece of equipment, and it's all on demand. So pretty efficient. No question, because that's the hardest thing to do is to determine, you know, how, how much power or how much energy are you actually using. And by shutting off the lights or by turning off the oven, what are you actually saving? You know, they, they get a bill every month and they can, see, they can see that they're using this amount compared to last year or whatever, but really there's not a lot. It's a guessing game for them, really, and, and for us at home, too. Um, so I would, I'm always searching for ways you know, to, to, to determine what we're using and what we can do better. Yeah, my wife and I just, we have an awesome old home and we had an awesomely big boiler in our basement that was seriously, it was 1964 was when it was installed. It was this giant thing that I'm cheap too, so in my mind I didn't want to drop, you know, $5,000 on a new boiler. And I really didn't equate the savings to what I would dump out on a new boiler. So I kept letting this thing sort of hop along year after year. We just installed the new boiler last year. Pretty dramatic difference in, in the way our house is heated and also in the, in the monthly expenditure toward heating. It was pretty amazing. We went from something that was really, really bad to something that was close, it's an old home, so I mean, they say 90% efficient, that's probably not true, just because of the old home and, and windows that are still, some are still old. And, 